So it's Easter Sunday right now. I'm just chilling with the family. We about to hit this spot called Chad Dole or whatever. It's a little Korean barbecue spot. The kids never had Korean barbecue before, so I'm gonna hit this spot up real quick. See what's up with it. Look what I brought. Oh, who that? Awana. That's Moana. So usually Korean barbecue is all you can eat, but looking at the menu, it says holidays are excluded. So once you select your meat, they bring out a whole bunch of sides. Hopefully this don't hit. Alrighty, brisket, short rib, marinated short rib, boneless prime short rib, and a ribeye steak. I'm gonna be completely honest, the food has no flavor and it's chewy as hell. It's crazy I'm headed to get food right now, y'all, because I just left a restaurant. But right now I'm headed to a Greek restaurant that's out in Virginia. Apparently this Greek restaurant is award winning. They got awards on the walls, all of that. And the food is righteous, y'all. I don't know, I've never had it before. I'm gonna go out there and get me a gyro. And before y'all tell me, it's pronounced gyro. I know that, but I just like saying gyro. Yeah, you can do your shit, but you can't fuck with me though. My neck look like a kilo. Y'all, so I'm all the way in Virginia right now at the Plaka Grill, bro. They're fucking closed, dog. And I already placed my order online, dog. $20. For a sandwich and some fries, bro. I paid twenty dollars, bro. It's fucking crazy, bro. I I break into this motherfucker and cook my own fucking shit in the back. Damn, all these places is closed. This is wild. Block a grill. Count your fucking days. So I just called the place, y'all. The, the, uh, receipt number. I'm about to head back out Virginia and get my food. You feel me? They had to confirm that I made that purchase. I made that purchase. I'm about to drive out Virginia and I'm gonna see what's good with this Jerito. All right, y'all. So I'm back out Virginia right now at the Placa Grill. This is my second time driving to Virginia for this one item, y'all. So this don't better be top tier. So as y'all see, we got that Chicago style gyro. I ain't even know folks in Chicago ate these. You feel me? I thought they was doing some gangster shit over there. But apparently they eating gyros. Apparently in the Chicago style, they got beef and they got lamb up in it. Let's see what's up with it. So here go a little look at the fries, y'all. Just by looking at the fries, you can tell that they're hand cut. Nice and thin. They seasoned up, but they're not the best fries I ever had. Not the worst. They offer malt vinegar in there. I should have grabbed some malt vinegar to give them a little extra taste. They kind of remind me of boardwalk fries a little bit. And me personally, I think boardwalk fries always need a little bit of vinegar. That's my personal opinion. When it comes to fries, you know what I'm saying? Everybody got their own taste when it comes to fries. Some people don't like that much salt on your fries, and if that's the case, these is definitely for you because they don't have a whole lot of salt on them. Like I said, it look like they seasoned it a little bit, but. Now I got with me the Chicago style gyro. You see it, Chicago style right there. Apparently this is a combination of lamb and beef. Got some tomato tzatziki sauce on it. You see some lettuce in there and some feta crumbles. As y'all seen that meat was fresh. It's not that frozen meat. He literally chopped the meat up off that junk. You know what I'm saying? It's not that frozen meat. Very good flavor to it. That tzatziki sauce right there, that tzatziki sauce is top tier. The pita. Pita is extremely soft. I've been to a few places and the pita be stale and you're like, man, what the hell is this? This shit was expired like a week ago. Y'all give me some old ass pitas. I must say that this pita is soft. The flavor of this thing is remarkable. It really is.
If you're a person that likes a lot of sauce in your food, then this place is for you. Because you see, this thing is packed with tzatziki sauce. Some people skimp you with the sauce. They make you pay extra for the sauce. But here, they can't correct with the sauce. There's not a lot of meat in it, though. You see, the meat's only on the top. This thing's full of lettuce. Lettuce and sauce. Need a little bit more meat up in it. But I will say it's good. I ordered a Chicago style. I ain't order a lettuce wrap, a salad, none of that. It's good, but it could use a little bit more meat, like I said, y'all. I'm gonna get a zero, eight out of 10. Just needs a little bit more meat. Meat got a good flavor to it. Pause. That sounds kind of weird. But yeah, it's on a W.